Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about a comedy romance film called She's the Man from 2006. Enjoy your viewing. High school student Viola is passionate about soccer and wants to take part in a professional match, but her women's team is cut from the main team. Having lost her favorite hobby, Viola heads home. On her way home, she meets Monique, her brother's girlfriend, who has mistaken Viola for him. The fact is that Viola and Sebastian are twins, and they look very much alike. Monique tells Viola that Sebastian is avoiding her, and asks her to tell her brother that Monique is waiting for him to call her. At home, Viola meets her mother, and tells her that there will be no more soccer practice. Her mother is not upset to hear this news, because she does not like her daughter's hobbies, and wants to raise her to be a real lady. But ladies don't play soccer. Mom shows Viola the dress she bought for the prom, but the girl doesn't like it and refuses to wear it. Viola goes upstairs and finds her brother there. Sebastian gathers his things and throws them down through the window. He has recently been expelled from school and his parents have enrolled him in a new school, but he is not going to go there. Sebastian is a musician. He writes songs and tours with his band. This is why he was expelled from his former school, but he doesn't learn from his mistakes and he's going to skip two weeks of school again. He goes to London, where he is going to perform with his band. Sebastian asks his sister to cover for him and call the school on behalf of his parents so that he doesn't get kicked out of school again for two weeks of absenteeism. Viola comes up with an idea. She wants to pretend to be her brother and go to school instead. She decides that this is a good chance to make the soccer team because the most important match in the neighborhood is coming up in exactly two weeks. Viola goes to her good friend, stylist Paul, and asks him to transform her into Sebastian. Paul agrees, and with the help of a wig, false braces, and eyebrows, he transforms Viola into Sebastian. The girl tells her mother that she is going to visit her father for two weeks. Since her parents are divorced, she and her brother live with their father and mother, and the parents do not communicate with each other. So it's a perfect cover, and no one will bother her for two weeks. Viola arrives at her new school and meets her roommates, Duke, Toby, and Andrew. The boys are also fond of soccer, and Viola goes with them to a qualifying match. After the selection, the team's coach puts Viola in the second team, i.e. as a substitute, and most likely she will not play at all. This doesn't make her happy, and she starts thinking about how to get into the main team. Viola asks her roommates to help her out at training, but they are distracted and avoid her because they think she is acting strange and unmanly. Which is not surprising, because Viola has a hard time passing for a man. Her classmates start making fun of her, and no one takes her seriously. The girl turns to Paul for help, and he comes up with a small performance that will allow Viola to win recognition among her peers. On her day off, Viola goes to a pizzeria where she meets her roommates. The guys try to ignore her again, but then the actors sent by Paul come into play. The girls pretend to be Viola's exes and publicly show her signs of affection. Everyone around her realizes that Viola is not a simple guy, but very popular among women. The cherry on top is Monique's appearance. She enters the pizzeria and sees Viola dressed as Sebastian. She starts chasing Viola around the pizzeria to finally talk about their relationship. Viola realizes that if Monique sees her face up close, she will realize that it is not Sebastian. Therefore, Viola tries to avoid direct contact and eventually stages a skit in which she breaks off her relationship with Monique. All of these events raise Viola's profile in the eyes of her peers, and she begins to be respected. Duke and the boys are now happy to hang out with her and help her at soccer practice. Viola's plan is finally starting to come to fruition. She gradually begins to open up to her new friends and learns from Duke that he likes the school's beautiful Olivia. Viola makes a deal with him that she will try to talk Olivia into going out with him if he puts in a good word for her with coach. Duke agrees and starts helping Viola with soccer. He teaches her new techniques and the coach finally begins to notice her enthusiasm and talent. But ironically, Olivia falls in love with Viola. She finds an excerpt from Sebastian's poem and is amazed at the depth of the boy's soul and the frankness of the work. Soon after, Viola's mother invites her to a carnival where Duke, Monique, and Olivia will be present. Viola has to play two roles at once and constantly disguise herself as Sebastian. Her mother instructs her to take over for Olivia in the kissing booth just as Duke's turn comes up. At first, he is upset because he wanted to get a kiss from Olivia, but when he starts kissing Viola, a spark flashes between them and Viola falls in love with him. This creates a love triangle in which Duke loves Olivia. Olivia loves Viola, and Viola loves Duke. This makes it increasingly difficult for Viola to hide her feelings for Duke. She begins to show him signs of attention, but for Duke she appears in the form of Sebastian, 
and the boy's attention to her makes him feel uncomfortable. After the carnival, Duke tells her that he liked Viola. The girl is delighted with this and pushes the boy to take the initiative, but Duke is shy and hesitates to call her first. During training, Viola is looking at Duke, but then Olivia suddenly approaches him, who has never paid him any attention before. She invites Duke to dinner and Viola becomes jealous. She takes Olivia aside and begins to prove to her that Duke is not her soulmate and that they are completely different. But Olivia already knows this. The girl just wanted Sebastian to start being jealous of her and finally take an interest in her. Olivia invites Viola on a double date where she goes with Duke and Viola takes her classmate Eunice with her. The date passes quickly and meaninglessly as Olivia tries to make Sebastian jealous of her and she is halfway successful. Only Viola is jealous of Duke, not her. At this time, the real Sebastian decides to return a day early and informs Viola on the answering machine, but the girl does not have time to read the message. Viola goes to a meeting of the ladies' club where she meets Monique and Olivia. She looks at her rival with hatred, and after waiting for her in the restroom, she decides to find out about her intentions for Duke. Olivia admits that she doesn't really like Duke, she just wanted to make Sebastian jealous because she loves him. Viola is very surprised and realizes the awkwardness of the situation, but then Monique bursts in, overhearing their conversation. She attacks Olivia because she believes that she took Sebastian away from her. A fight starts between the three girls, which is stopped by the assembly coordinator. At this time, one of the classmates, who is in love with Olivia, starts spying on Viola and tries to find some dirt. He tries to convince the school principal that something is wrong with Sebastian. But the good-natured principal does not believe him. Duke is overwhelmed with emotions after a short but vivid date with Olivia. He decides to approach her, but at that time the real Sebastian arrives at the school. Olivia meets him and gives him a big kiss. Duke watches this and believes that Viola betrayed him and used him to get on the soccer team and then took away his love, Olivia. Duke fights with Viola and accuses her of betrayal. He kicks her out of the room just before tomorrow's game. When he goes to bed, the real Sebastian enters the room and lies down on his bed. Viola spends the night with Eunice. When Duke wakes up, he notices Sebastian, but since he is still angry with him, he decides not to wake him up and goes to the game. Sebastian is woken up by Toby and Andrew. Surprised, Sebastian doesn't understand why he's being called to the game, but he agrees and goes to the game. Meanwhile, Viola wakes up in Eunice's room and realizes that she has overslept at the game. She runs to the locker room, but doesn't find her uniform there. Going out to the stadium, she notices Sebastian on the field and realizes that everything has gone wrong. The real Sebastian is not good at soccer at all. He is only a hindrance to his team. But then the principal comes out on the field with Malcolm and asks for a moment of attention. The principal tells them that he and Malcolm have uncovered a conspiracy and publicly reveals that Sebastian is actually Viola. Everyone around him starts laughing, but the principal doesn't stop. Then Sebastian proves that he is male, and the principal and Malcolm say it's a joke and leave the field. The game continues. The coach sends Sebastian to the bench for his poor performance. Viola meets him there and tells him that she has been pretending to be him all along. She takes his uniform, changes her clothes, and asks the coach to give her a second chance. Coach agrees and puts her on the field, but Duke is still angry with her and won't let her play properly. Then she tells him the truth about how she pretended to be her brother to get on the soccer team. Duke realizes this and forgives Viola. They start playing as a team, and Viola scores the winning goal. Eventually, Duke and Viola start dating, and the coach allows the girl to play soccer. This is the end of the movie. If you have watched the video so far, you should know that I am happy to have viewers like you. Thank you for watching to the end. Subscribe to the channel and follow the news. Klonsak Recapped was with you. See you soon.